Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're in Windows 11. Is there a sandbox? Yes, there is. So in Windows 10, I showed you that how to activate the sandbox mode and how to uh, actually um, use it. And basically, in Windows 11, there is also a sandbox in the Pro version. Unfortunately, once again, Windows 11 does not have it in the Home version. Once again, you have to have virtualization enabled within your CPU and the uh, UEFI BIOS of your computer or the BIOS. Um, if that is turned on, you'll be able to use the Windows 11 sandbox mode. Of course, the difference is that Windows 10 gives you a Windows 10 sandbox. Windows 11 gives you a Windows 11 sandbox. So how to enable it? Well, simply go into your search, type Windows features. It's going to actually bring you to turn Windows features on and off in the good old control panel. In here, you'll go down until you see that there is a Windows sandbox to put a check mark in front of right here. Put the check mark, you're going to see it work. You're going to see it's going to actually install files, change things around once you click the OK button. And don't forget, it's going to ask you probably, but do restart. So just make sure that you go into the power and click the restart button. This is going to make sure that all the files and everything is enabled within the sandbox mode. Once that is done, all you have to do to enable set to use it or enable sandbox is to use simply type sandbox or Windows sandbox mode. Uh, Windows sandbox is better. Here we go. Windows sandbox. Click the app. It's also available in the list of apps within Windows 11. And it brings you to a sandboxed version of Windows 11 that you can use with the same features, taskbar, and search. It is, once again, a secure place to try things you're not sure of. Anything you have downloaded that you really don't want to take a risk in there, if it just messes up everything, just close the window and you're you know, back to normal. Uh, what happens in there is going to stay within the Windows sandbox. Of course, you can try software. You can try all sorts of things. That um, it, It's also a great way that if you're not sure and you want to learn more about the internals of Windows and you want to try things you know, with the registry and so on that you don't know if it's going to break Windows or not, well, you can break this Windows. And if you break this Windows... It's fine. You just close the window and restart the sandbox and go play it again. Every time you restart, it starts fresh like a brand new install of Windows 11. So this is a cool, cool way of learning more about Windows also by tweaking and, you know, trial and error. doesn't matter. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is restart the sandbox. So once you click that X on the upper right, it discards and permanently loses everything that's in there. It is not permanent, and nothing in there is ever permanent. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.